Okay, so the hair, do we like it? I don't know, I don't know, the black roots and then the pink. I kinda do, but it makes the lighting a little off, but whatever, we try new things. It's 2019. I'm elegant, I'm so elegant, baby. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, y'all thought I was gonna talk about elegant, but no, I got even hotter tea. Get your cups, get your cups. So what if I told you that somebody, me, me, has a song coming out on February 15th, right in time for Valentine's Day, okay? Hashtag company, but you didn't hear it from me. So make sure you guys got your iTunes cards ready because pre-order should be soon. I don't know when, but it should be soon. Can we get company to the charts? I know we can, Fitz fam can do anything. But anyways, now that that self promo is out of the way, it is time to jump back into episode because TGIE. But before I do that, let me give a special shout out to my episode episode donators. So shout out to Evan Peterson and Spencer Perry. Thank you so much. I love you. So without further ado, let's jump on into episode T. Chapter five, two million dollar baby. Who? Who is a two million dollar baby? It, it ain't me. Uh-oh. Yo, I forgot about this part. But I'm too hot for prison. Really, Shane? Really? The only way to survive the slammer is to beat up the biggest dude in here. Or was it make friends? Can't remember. Dude, how did you survive Juvie? I won't ever stop fighting for your freedom. Aw, poor Allie. You realize this isn't prison, right? This is just the Rockfest drunk tank. At worst, they confiscate your tickets. Oh. Oh, we good. Not their tickets. You can't kick them out. Haven't we met? Oh, right. The angel outfit was better than this get up. What? Sir? Now it's time for you to go. It's not fair. They didn't start the fire. Or I would stage a protest, or Amanda did it. I'ma say they didn't start the fire. But they didn't start the fire. This ain't about the fire. Then what's it about? This is about Randy Levine's missing $2 million guitar. Uh, so? They didn't steal it. Can you prove that? Um, I'll search for them, just replace it, or call my lawyer. Uh, I'll search for them. Yes, I'll just search for them. I would have noticed if they were packing the Sunrise G-string guitar in their trousers. Come again. Babe, the Sunrise G-string guitar is the Mona Lisa of guitars. The one your dad mentioned. Uh-oh. Well, T. This guitar is my life. They were at the scene of the crime. But I couldn't have done it, confessing my love in a musical medley. Yeah, what he said. True. You did disappear as soon as the fire broke out. Oh, are you accusing me of something? <gasps> well, they're already in jail. You're dating both of them? Kids these days are freaky. That is so sweet of you to say. Now get out of here before I lecture you on the benefits of monogamy. Um, hello, it's like the modern age. All kinds of love and relationships are fine. Duh. Help us, Allie. This day can't be over yet. Help. Bye-bye. Bye, but I'll be back. They're gonna eat each other alive in there. What are we supposed to do? Bouncer One really made his point clear. If two people were going gladiator over their love for me, I would return the favor. A jailbreak is in order. I can't just walk back in there. You just need a disguise. Okay, I do love a good get up. That's why I got this uh, pink wig on. Whose dressing room is this? The spiciest gals, duh. I'm gonna wear one of their outfits and each one has a different flavor. You get to pick. I wanna try sweet, salty, spicy. Um, Let's see them all. Sweet. Eh, that's too sweet. Cute, but too sweet, too sweet. Salty. Why would I want to look salty? But that is cute. <gasps> Ooh, I love it. The streetwear, I love it. Or spicy. Okay. Oh, that is cute, but I wanna, I wanna be looking salty, to be honest. OMG, I love the temporary tattoo. You look so good. I think y'all, I think I wanna be salty. So, boom, salty. Yes. The hat, the hat is what made it. You can use this amazing outfit to spring your guys. I wonder how they're doing. Wait, I didn't pick this outfit. She'll come, I know she will. And boy, am I gonna make it up to her. Allie, where are you? I get to spend romantic time with my guys in one of these outfits. Um, let's do it, thanks to my donators. Yes! I'm going to wear 
salty. Hey, I'm looking cute, y'all. So salty. I'm wearing this. What are you gonna wear? Um, Camille, you're going as Randy's pregnant wife, duh. This can't be legal. Whatever, Camille, do, do as you please. Focus, let's go for your babes. All right, let's do this. And that's what we called romance back in the day. They don't care. Ahem. Uh-oh, shook. Okay, so since we have a different disguise, we need a different voice. I'm Randy Labine's pregnant wife. I didn't know she was pregnant. Wait a second, weren't you just here? I need to act my way past him. I'm the headliner. Now stop staring at me. I can feel you undressing me with your eyes. I thought Randy Labine was headlining. Crap. Randy left and my band stepped in to save the show like true heroes. Then what's your band called? I can't say because it's the heart eyes emoji. T. Now let these guys out. They're my backup singers, backup dancers, male muses. They're my backup dancers. These two can bust a move? Exactly. Show them what you got, boys. Uh-oh. Okay. Wow. Um, aren't they amazing? They're awful. Well then, at least we got out. That outfit worked wonders. With your acting skills, you could go straight to Hollywood. Thank you for saving us. Now what should we do with our newfound freedom? Catch a concert, romance me, or just keep using your new outfit. I mean, the outfit is cute. I love y'all, but the outfit though. Oh. Oh, wow. Let's get more mileage out of this outfit. Woohoo! Everything's free when you're covered in leather. Wow, I just changed my whole persona. Come on, queen. Ooh, and they let me in too. They let my whole squad in. Yo, party t uh oh, what? <gasps> the spotlight's on me. <gasps> We went on stage? That outfit's our golden ticket. Never take it off. Um, since when can they play? I can't promise that. Ooh. Wow, we had a fun day, didn't we, y'all? With a wink. Thank goodness for school. I need a break from all the drama. Spoke too soon, the cops are here. What? Why are they here? Cops are interrogating everyone about the missing guitar. Oh yeah. The boys are gonna freak. Uh-oh. Wasn't me. Guitars give me hives. Do you know how much these French tips cost? No way I'd steal a guitar. There's your guitar theft. I bet Allie did it. Police, you better get her. She's just throwing accusations left and right. Next time, don't steal my Rockfest date. So, is it true? Did you steal the guitar? What do you think, sir? I didn't do it, don't talk to pigs, me. <laughs> or wanna borrow those handcuffs. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh-oh. Wait, why is he sneaking around? Where do you think you're going? I was trying to go to class without being harassed by you lackeys. I'm surprising you, kid. Didn't think you had the smarts for a high-level theft. Oh. Excuse me? Defend Ryder or insult Officer Williams or do nothing. I'm a, what if I insult him? Cause like, you can't be making accusations. You ain't got no proof, sir. Um, you're jealous you don't have the brains to jack the guitar. Ooh, why did I say that? So you're saying he did steal it. That's not what I meant. Better think twice before you get smart. You're coming with me, Ryder. <gasps> I shouldn't have done that. I don't know who's worse, you or your son. <gasps> why don't we ask him then? What are you doing here, dad? Are you harassing Allie? Son, following the law is in your blood. You better not be going soft on me, kid. No kid of mine is weak. Shape up or don't bother coming home at all. Some dad you got there, Shane. Oh? Officer Williams leaps for a chocolate sprinkled donut. Don't listen to him. Why not? Maybe he's right. Maybe Ryder did steal it. What'd you say? Shane. Oh, you're jealous, boo. Ooh, or paranoid much, or prove it, Buster. Prove it. Prove it then. I heard him having a sketchy phone conversation. Face the facts. Say another word and I'll punch you in the face. Uh, I dare you. Cops are swarming the place. They'd arrest you so fast, you wouldn't know what happened. <gasps> Don't do it. Don't do it, Ryder. Ryder storms off. Whew, he's smart, kinda. 
Ryder, wait! He's not worth it, Allie. You're supposed to be better than your father. A familiar revving sound erupts from the school parking lot. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Shane, but I trust Ryder. I need to go after him. Okay, but mark my words, Ryder is guilty. Why would he say that unless he had like some sort of proof? Since when do you two know each other? I punched him in the face at the Cupid party, remember? Just uh, saying sorry. Yep, and I wanted to surprise you at school, sweetheart, and take you out to a special lunch. Too bad we have class and exams coming up. Oh, please, ditching was a daily ritual for me back in high school. Dad, come on, Allie, come to lunch. Ditch and dine with dad or go to class with Ryder. Should I catch up with my dad? I feel like I would. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna ditch and dine with dad. I'm down for a little dad time, why not? Because we have exams. Seriously, don't go. Since when do you care about academics? It'll be fine, take notes for me. It'll be okay, Ryder, bye, I'll be back. What's eating him? I don't know. What is he watching for? What's going on, y'all? This is awkward. Why do you say that? You insisted on taking me to some hole in the wall truck stop off the highway and have barely said a word. I'll be right back. What the hell is going on? This is weird, this is weird. Ring, ring. Uh-oh, who's calling? Ryder, shouldn't you be taking notes in bio right now? I wanted to make sure you were safe. Aren't you the most dangerous factor in my life at the moment? You'd be surprised. What's that supposed to mean? I can't explain right now. Come to my house tonight. What? I right, then. You came. I'm here because I needed to see you. We should talk or I came for the truth. I came for the tea and the truth. I came here for the truth and I'm not leaving until I get it. The truth? You can't handle the truth. What? What you mean? Sorry, I thought we were doing a scene. I'm serious. What's up with all the shadiness? Should I be worried about you? Come in, let me explain. All right, you need to set me down. Let's get the tea, let's go. <sighs> I'm bad news. Been new. I don't care about this bad boy shtick. I like you, Ryder. Why else would I come here when everyone else says not to? Don't you get it? I don't care about what anyone says. Baby, I'm not sure. Sure about what? I am. Ryder looks at you full of want. Ooh, and you want him too. Y'all, we get spicy. You don't know who makes the first move, but soon enough, you're kissing. Oh, snaps. Allie, we shouldn't, but I can't help it. I'm falling for you. <gasps> we got our man. Does that mean you're falling in love with me? I've been saving this for the right moment. And now, having you here safe with me, it feels right. A present? For me? I want to spoil you forever, Allie. <gasps> That's so cute. It's a promise ring to remind you that I'll always love you. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh, Ryder, it's beautiful. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, T. I want to keep it close to my heart. So do you accept it? Will you wear this ring to represent our endless love? This would take our relationship to the next level. Um, yes. Our man bought us some jewelry. We gonna wear it. I'll keep it close to my heart, Ryder. You've made me so happy, Allie. Oh yeah? Maybe you can show me how happy. Oh? We cute. Shane is gonna be so mad tomorrow at school. Oh, Ryder. Kiss me again. Ooh, look at us. You melt into his arms. This is some tea, y'all. Ryder, I want, just keep kissing, y'all. Let's not, just, you know. Keep it PG up in here. We got kids that watch this. Ring, ring. Ugh, it's my parole officer. I have to get this. All right, Ryder leaves to take the call. You're left alone. Ryder, where's the bathroom? Fine, I'll pee in the first room I find. T, I hope I don't find something I don't wanna see. I hate that. Uh-oh. OMG. <gasps> the Sunrise G-String. He did steal it. Now, to hide this somewhere safe. <gasps> Ryder, why? Shane was right. Ryder stole the guitar. 
Wow, to be continued. Wow. Well, there's that. We got a thief on our hands. And it's our man. Well, what do you guys think is gonna happen next? And what should I do? Should I confront him about it or should I be like, I ain't see nothing. What? Y'all hear something? But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Let everybody know about this episode T. And also, don't forget to get your iTunes gift cards ready because I got some new music coming for you. February 15, mark your calendars. I really wasn't supposed to say anything yet, but you know, I can't help it. And I can't keep a secret when it comes to the Fitz fam. And before I go, I wanna give a quick shout out to my active Instagram followers, the people who follow me, like my pictures, comment on my pictures, and watch my Instagram stories daily. So shout out to Emma, Krutner, did I say it right? 06, thanks for following and liking all these pictures. Okay, and we got Karisu Igarisu, did I say it right? But thank you for following. Welcome to the Fitz fam. Also, we've got Brooklyn Greer, 27, who liked all these pictures. Thank you, Brooklyn. And I'm not Fortnite queen, just followed. And if you want an Instagram shout out just like that, all you have to do is make sure you're active on my page and boom, you just like get yourself a shout out. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step.